What's up with it Raider Nation? It's your boy Raider Honcho and I'm back with a brand new video for you. If you're a fan of the Las Vegas Raiders and want to support this channel, please subscribe. And if you're already subscribed and want to become a member and get exclusive perks such as emojis, badges, exclusive content, members only live chats, streams, all of that, Become a member today by hitting that join button. I'll also have a link in the description. Hit up RadarHoncho.com. Pick you up some of that merch. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both are at RadarHoncho. So let's get into it. Now, I thought this would be an interesting topic to talk about. I, I want to definitely have a discussion. So make sure you get down in the comments and let me know what y'all think, uh, your opinions on this. But I feel like with all the Julio Jones talk, that I kind of feel like we have been like kind of disrespecting Henry Ruggs in a sense, okay? And I understand last year's his production wasn't that great. I understand all that, right? I understand that a lot of us felt like we reached on him. We should have got a Jerry Judy or a Lamb or um, even Jefferson. But I think that always talking about bringing in another wide receiver is kind of slighting and disrespecting the ones we already have. I've already gone on record saying that Brian Edwards is going to be our best wide receiver next year. I do think he might he, he can be a true number one. But I think Henry Ruggs actually has star power. I think Henry Ruggs has the potential to be a star. A huge star in this league, right? Like, like I think Brian Edwards might have the stats. I think he might... He might just be more of a actual wide receiver, big body type, prototype, good speed, great hands. Just one of those workman like guys, right? Like, but there's a difference between a guy who just comes to work every day and performs adequately and does his job. But then there's those other guys that come and put on a show. And they might not have all the the numbers as the other guys on the job or, or everybody else on the team. But for some reason, they just stand out more. They just look better doing it. They make it look easy. And I think Henry Ruggs the third has that potential. Now, before I get too far, I want to let y'all know, man, I found these up at 7-Eleven. I don't know when these came out, but Sour Patch Kids, only all blue. The blue raspberry, the best flavor of Sour Patch Kids, the whole pack, those is gone. I just wanted to shout y'all out because if y'all not on game, I want to put y'all on game with those. But Henry Ruggs has, first of all, he has a fire number, right? He has a fire number as a wide receiver to be a star, right? I, 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 numbers mean something to me, okay? But you look at the speed, the 4-2 speed. He has the speed. He has the big playability to be a star. That's what this NFL wants. That's what this league wants is big play. They want they want box office. To me, Henry Ruggs, out of everybody on our team, even including Darren Waller, Henry Ruggs possesses certain things that make me feel like he could be more box office than anybody on the team where he might not catch as many passes as, Darren Waller. He might not have as many touchdowns as Darren Waller. He might not have as many targets as Darren Waller. But he's big time in his box office because the plays he does make are like spectacular plays. I think he has the ability to do that. He also has the clutch gene. You saw that against the Jets that with the game on the line, he caught the pass, scored the touchdown, beat the defender. He has the ability to make plays when they matter the most. Not that he does it all the time, but it's in there. He has the ability. So I don't want to hear about bringing in Julio. I think Julio would be, obviously, make our team better. But there's a reason why the Chiefs aren't talking about bringing in Julio. Well, you don't think Julio would be a great receiver on their team? There's a reason why um, the, 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 the Buccaneers aren't talking about bringing in a Julio Jones. or like Because they have confidence in the receivers they have. Not that Julio's not better than them, but they like what they have. So I don't really want to discuss the whole Julio Jones stuff that much because I like the receivers we have. I, like I said, I know the production wasn't there from... Um, from Henry Ruggs in his first year. But again, man, he had 26 receptions, 452 yards, two touchdowns, and he didn't know what the hell he was doing. He had no idea what he was doing out there, right? He He's averaging freaking 17 yards a catch, but he had no idea what he was doing out there last year. He came in a dysfunctional organization from top to bottom. He had no off-season preparation. He had to deal with the COVID stuff. He had zero trust and chemistry with Derek Carr. Um... And if you think about it, even though Nelson Aguilar was on the team, he had no veteran leadership in that room. He's super young. He had no leadership in that room. Nelson Aguilar was not only fighting for a job, but he was fighting for a contract. And I don't know if he went out of his way to try to help Henry Ruggs run better routes or, or understand defenses and stuff like that. And I also think Henry Ruggs had to deal with injuries. So when you think about 452 yards, 26 catches, obviously doesn't blow you away. doesn't jump off the paper, but... The potential is there. I mean, this upcoming season, I can easily see him doubling all of those numbers. I can see him get 85 targets, 50 catches, 850 yards, 5 touchdowns. 
I can see those things happening, especially if he's going to average 17 yards a catch, right? He doesn't have to catch that many passes to get those yards. I think he can put up the numbers that an Aguilar put up if given the opportunity. I think he has to prove it. Obviously, he has to get in the weight room. He has to improve on his route running. He has to get a chemistry and a rapport with Derek Carr. But those are all things that he can do. It's not like he can't catch. The boy can catch. He can run. Um, he can make defenders miss, and he can take the lid off of the defense. So all the things there, that he could be a freaking stupid, a superstar in this league, and I don't think I'm bugging for saying that. Get in the comments, let me know what you think. But I just think I trust Henry Ruggs a little more than other people. I do think we reached on him. I don't think we had to get him where we got him, especially when you look at the production. But going forward, I mean, there are more superstar wide receivers that were taken in the second round that they were in the first round. I mean, you could just go do your homework. I mean, Devontae Adams is one of the best receivers in the NFL. I don't think he was taken in the first round. So I just think that when you look at uh, Henry Ruggs' pedigree from Alabama, I mean, he's in Alabama when they had Devontae Smith, when they had Jerry Judy, when they had a Jalen Waddle, and he was in that room and he excelled. So he has the pedigree. He has the work ethic. He has the competitive drive. I think all those things mixed with all the intangibles he already has, like the speed, the big playability, he can jump, he can go up and get the ball, right? He, he's super athletic. I think he's just a little frail. And needs to work on his routes and get some type of trust with Derek Carr. I understand that he didn't make the best on every opportunity he had last year. But I absolutely believe that Henry Ruggs can be a superstar in this league. I'm not saying he's OBJ. I'm not saying anything like that. But OBJ became a star more because of off-field stuff and how he looked, his hair, his products, all those things. Henry Ruggs can be a superstar. He takes the field. He got the mirror visor on. He's got the gloves. He, he, looks, he looks dope. He looks like a creative player. He has speed like a creative player. He can jump like a creative player. Once he puts all those other things together, and I believe he will, I think he can be a superstar. That's nothing. That's not taking away anything from Brian Edwards. I think Brian Edwards will be a number one guy. I think Brian Edwards will probably be the best wide receiver when it's clutch time or go, go time, game time on the line. I think Darren Waller is still the number one option, but I think Edwards puts himself in a position in the conversation to, look, I should get the ball at the end of games. But with all that being said, Henry Ruggs can be a superstar, and I think – Raider Nation, to some extent, has kind of been disrespecting him because of where he's been taken, and it set the bar so high for him. When you're taking the first wide receiver off the board, you, you, you have a bar set that is probably hard to reach, where somebody taking in the second and third round, they don't have those expectations, those standards. But I think if we throw expectations out the window, I think... This guy has an opportunity to be an absolute superstar. Uh, let me know what you think. Get down in the comments. Let me know what you think. Um, I think he is. I think he can be a superstar. I think he has all the potential. And I think next year and two years from now, three years from now, Henry Ruggs is probably going to develop into one of those guys that's much CTV. Like, must see TV. He's box office. He's worth the price of admission once he puts all those things together. So, if you like the video, like the video. If you like the content on this channel, with well, them, subscribe to the channel. You want to become a member, hit that join button or click the link in my description. And until the next time, you see the braids, you see the fade, you already know what it is. Raider Honcho out.